Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Wow. Wow. Cody got rid of all his wives except this favorite one, which is Robin. That's his legal wife. Now that the other wives are gone, I'm wondering, what about Coyote Pass? What happens? Now, we know that Christine got rid of her plot of land because she just wanted to keep it clean and just take the proceeds from her house and move on. Cody reluctantly agreed to that. But Mary and Janelle left. Okay, so let's think. The whole lot of land, the whole parcel of land was about $890,000. But the Browns did not purchase it outright. However, the land was split out in five parcels. Once Christine sold her plot of land to Cody, he, the family now owns three parcels of that five parcel lot. So they own three fifths of it, right? But the other two fifths is left in question. That's Janelle and Mary's portion. And what's interesting though, that the whole Coyote lot cost $880,000, but Robin's home was well over that, was 890,000. So the amount that they paid for Robin's home, they could have bought Coyote outright then, just straight out pay for the land. But instead they used the money to purchase Robin a home while everybody else fend for themselves, it seems, because Christine was smart enough to get herself a house, but uh, Mary and Janelle, they rented. And Robin had the house, the price that could have paid for the land. So, with that noted, the Browns have, out of that lot, three-fifths of it paid for. I'm just wondering why they have not built on the portion that they have paid. I do know that there is also a lot of infrastructure that needs to happen. You need sewage. You need electricity. You need water. You need pavement. You need a lot of things. But so far, there's a lot of talk about Coyote Pass. They said they bought that land that was far too expensive for them to ever develop. I don't know about that not being undeveloped because there's, if you look over, there's some homes over there, but I guess when they bought the land, they didn't, it's not the cul-de-sac in Vegas where the utilities are already figured in and all the other, the pipelines, the sewage, that was already figured out. So they basically have land in a flood and wind zone with, with the drainage pond right now. So, I mean, so there's that dilemma. So that's a lot of money, the construction loan to build the home and then the make the infrastructure for the property. That's a lot of money. And they charge by the foot to get the pipelines, electrical lines, everything to the house by foot. So are they trying to pay for the whole thing so they can get everything done at once, which is even more expensive? I'm wondering if Robin and Cody, since they've gotten rid of every wife, they're going to need an income or are they going to just put some properties out there and rent them out now that they scared away all the other wives? I wonder, I wonder, was that their master plan that now that they got everybody out, now they'll just get down to business and start building because it was odd that Cody did not want Janelle to build her little house on that land. He was adamant, no. She wanted to build a small house and he was like, no. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's a motive there that, hey, we got this land out to ourselves now. Bye-bye, Mary. Bye-bye, Janelle. And bye, Christine. So what do you guys think? I don't know. That's just a theory. I don't know. I don't think um, coding is that great of a businessman. I think he went in their feet first. So I don't know why the purchase of the land? I don't know. And not building. And why would you spend the money on Robin's house when you could have bought the land outright? And then everybody um, work on getting the, um, the infrastructure built so they can build upon the land. So anyway, my loves, that is all I have to say. What do you guys think? I am, I'm just scratching my head on this one. What about Coyote Pass? Do you guys have some theories out there? Drop them down below. 
as well as subscribe if you have not subscribed and hit the notification bell so you can continue this hot tea and um, discussion. All right, my loves, I'll check you all out on the flip side.